having a beautiful time with, uh, uh, with the brother. So let us jump in, right? Uh, when it comes to psychological uh, health, uh, we often don't think of daily flossing, uh, like, with the, like with the teeth, do we, right? Uh, we always brush and floss our teeth. We always take our shower. Why? Uh, because we know that it is essential for our dental health and also for hygiene. What about our mental, mental health and mental hygiene? Do we do anything? We don't often have the practice of like brushing our teeth or flossing our teeth or taking a shower. What is the equivalent of that in our mental health? It is said that our mind is a major part of it, which we most likely ignore or overlook about it, isn't it? Let us get into our presentation now. It is said that if we do not know how to take care of ourselves and to love ourselves, we cannot take care of the people we love. Generally, we would always want to take care of the people we love and people around us, right? So the main thing here is, of course, by just the very uh, statement, you can know what are we uh, talking about and what is the topic that we're going to take care or talk about right now. It is about self-care. Self-care. We all know about self-care. We have heard about self-care. We have all the information about self-care. Now being more digital and we are more into uh, the gadgets and everything being online and a lot of things on YouTube, Google. Of course, we have heard so much. Most of the people talk about burnout and self-care. We know what it is, but we do we know how do we take care of ourselves? Even if we want to, how do we take care of ourselves, right? So first let's look at what is self-care. Of course, most of us know about it. Let's go through it and see what are the dimensions that we could take care of ourselves. One is taking care of your mind and thoughts, which is very important. We will look at, we'll look into it when we go forward then taking care of your physical health and body. You know, if you're fit and fine, you can achieve anything you want. Then increasing your own well-being through self-care behaviors. Taking care of your spiritual health. Here, spiritual health does not mean just doing your rituals of either going to church or performing some pujas or doing some namaz. It, these are just not the rituals we're talking about. We're talking about connecting to the up above the divine. The, the most important is taking care of your emotions, right? Off late and due to pandemic for the last two years, everybody's uh, thing on the tip of the tongue is my emotions, my moods are not right. And there are a lot of uh, divorce rates due to the pandemic that has taken place from that we're going through since last two years. Now, yeah. We know what self-care is. I know what to do, how to take care of myself. If you could say, and if you could say, I don't know how to take care of myself, but I want to take care of myself. So what are the obstacles that we find to take care of ourselves? You know, what is blocking us to take care of ourselves, to give that some time, to spend some time with yourself, to converse with you and to love yourself? What does it take? What are the obstacles that we find? One, it's a very common thing where anybody and everybody say they don't have time for it. Just not self-care for quite a few things that you want to do in your life, right? Of course, you want everybody have only 24 hours. You will not have time to finish the, all that you want to finish in the to-do list of 24 hours, but you can definitely prioritize and make time for yourself, right? And then self-care. This is something, a new concept that's coming up say a decade ago, before that, we used to never think of something called self-care because we always thought self-care is selfish. Right? 
uh, we being Indians and more so the uh, Asian upbringing and the wiring, we always put others first. You know, being a mother, or being a wife, or being a father, or being a you know a husband. We take care of our children, we take care of our husbands, we take care of our in-laws, then your siblings. We always put others first. We never thought about ourselves. When we think about ourselves, we always felt that we are very selfish, right? Then, what else? The third and the most important obstacle that to take care of yourself is you don't know how. I want to, but I really don't know how to take care of myself. Let's look at it one by one. Have no time. So how many of you feel and have told and is saying that I have no time to even scratch my back? What are you talking about self-care? Come on, keep quiet, right? So let's see how we can make time in the given scenario and really take care of our health. We need a mental flossal as well, just not the, uh, uh, not uh, just not flossing our teeth every day. Yeah, we need a mental flossal every day too. Schedule a couple of hours every week. There are small, small things what we can do where each one of us know about it, either through experience. Few of us might already be doing it, but many of us who are not doing it can get onto it right after this, right today, right? Schedule a couple of hours every week to do something you enjoy. Uh, as we grow, we have our hobbies, we have uh, our likes, we want to do something, we have our bucket list, we do all of it. But as the time grows and as you're aging, most of us, what we do is we put all of that at the back seat and we start uh, taking part in the race of life of trying to achieve this, get this, being busy with other things, putting, you know, paying attention to what we what we, uh, I wouldn't say should not, where it is out of your control, you know, which is not within your control. I like driving. So what I do is I just take the car and I just go to drive every day morning between 5.30 to 6. That's my me time. You know, that really regenerates me. That really kickstarts my day. And for you to have time, the best thing now that each one of us could do is disconnect. Disconnect from who and what disconnect from gadgets disconnect being online all the time now social media is the in thing with a lot of instagram or uh, your facebook your whatsapp we spend quite amount of time on the gadgets we are, we are so connected online which is so virtual then being connected to ourselves being connected within yeah listening to some nice music you could do you can spend some time offline you get some amount of time. See, you don't need hours together to take care of yourself. Just to start with a 15 minutes a day is good enough. And if we could reduce the time on the gadgets, you get that whole 15 minutes just like that, free of cost, very effortlessly. Then create and enforce boundaries. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean by boundaries? We will look at it on our uh, next slide. Now stop worrying, which is out of your control. Generally, there is a conflict between the mind. There's a conflict between you and yourself. You know? When do you get the conflict? And most of the time, the conflict is about what is out of control. Just now I heard a teacher ask, what should I do? Because I have the anxiety thinking of the student who are, you know, uh, is not able to perform well or is not able to say something well because everything is online. The only thing the teacher should ask herself is, is it in your control? Can you do something about it? If yes, then please do something what you can do. If no, do not worry about it because you have given your best to what you need to do as a teacher. You have, you have empowered them. You have, you have given the lessons. You've given the knowledge. Rest is left to them. Each one has their own journey. You could only motivate them you could only ask them to do what could be done. You can tell them what are pros and cons. And then you need to put a full stop because that is not in your control what a student does. So think about it or pay attention to something that which is within your control. Stop worrying about something which is out of your control. Now, what are the types of boundaries? Right, we have five types of boundaries, physical boundary, emotional boundary, communication, mental, and time. 
what is physical boundary? Now, when you're working together, if it is a co-ed and you have uh, both the uh, genders working together, sometimes uh, the kind of proximity that you need to take care of, few of them could overstep that boundary. So what, what is that you could do about it? Could you please take a step back? You're too close. And I don't allow anyone to borrow my car on weekends. You know, you should learn to say no. There is a habit that you always say yes, right? You don't have to say yes all the time. You don't have to please everybody all the time. Emotional bond. How do you take care of it? This is not a topic I want to discuss right now. Generally, when you are in breaks and you're near together, it is more easy to gossip. It is more easy to talk about others or you want to share something happened to you. There's something that you don't want to take care of that. You don't want to listen to it. You can very politely tell them. This is not the topic that I want to discuss. So can we talk something else? Yeah. I want to support, but I have too much on my plate right now. Now, communication boundaries. Please don't speak to me that, in that tone. When you have the seniority going on, either in the schools or even in the corporate life, generally you have a sense of superiority coming out there. You know, whether it is knowingly or unknowingly, you just have those two feathers uh, in your uh, cap, right? So if something like that happens, you can always politely say, I do not like the way you speak to me. It's you're making, you're, you're creating, you're demarcating your boundary and telling them this is what it is. You cannot cross that limit. That itself will reduce a lot of stress that you take wherever you're working, right? I don't want you commenting on my appearance. Somebody thinks that it is very easy. I mean, it is, it is like, uh, it is just a joke or it is a fun, but they don't know how offensive it can get when the other person is not able to take it in the right way. Now, mental, it's okay if you don't agree with me. See, all of us have difference of opinion. Even now what I am sharing with you, you could say, ma'am, what you're talking is bullshit. Of course you're valid. That is your opinion. I need to respect your opinion, right? I respect your perspective, even though I do not agree with it. So it is how you communicate. It's how you draw your boundaries. I can only stay on for an hour. Please let me know in advance if you're getting late. Always you need to be on time. Respect your time and others' time. Now the second one. You said that self-care isn't selfish. The first thing is don't feel guilty about being the traditional, typical mother saying that, oh, my daughter, my son have to eat first, only then I can eat. My husband has to eat first. You love to do that out of love, well and good. But otherwise, you don't have to feel guilty and starve yourself and then you faint even before you could feed somebody else, right? Why self-care why self isn't selfish? It, it helps you be better when you take care of yourself. When your cup is full, yeah, you'll be you're fresh, you're energetic, you have the zeal to do something. More so, all you'll have the patience to deal with the other. You know, when you're calm, when you're quiet, and when you know what you need to do, and when you know what you are, it becomes easy. Whatever comes from outside, you can you can just post that, and you can deal and handle them in a much better and a productive way. More than less time, you know, you can do more. Because you calm, you know what it is. You're not worked up for small, small things. You're not getting irritated. You're not getting angry, right? So taking care of yourself is so very important in this given time. You will have extra mental resources to face the challenges that comes up. It is not easy being a teacher. Trust me on this. Knowing my daughter who comes and she goes on and on with this teacher like this, that, this, that, this, you know. It is, it is too difficult and challenging to be a teacher than a student. So you know, taking care of yourself is so very important. Now coming to the favorite thing or the most important thing is that we don't know how to take care of yourself. Come on, I want to, but I don't know how to take care of myself. So any practice that could manage my stress and promote my well-being, that is self-care. No big jargons attached to it. So what? how many kinds of self-care we have? One is physical. Most of us actually, we take care, we talk about being fit and having six pack and zero size and a lot of other things. But yeah, that is one, one of the self-care that we could do. Then we have psychological self-care. We have emotional self-care, spiritual self-care and professional self-care. 
physical self care most of us know what we do you need to exercise we always we, we, how many of us do the new year resolutions this year i am going to hit the weighing machine number from 70 to 60 or 70 to 55 i have done many a times and i have failed <laughs> not miserably but i have not been consistent at least in the past unlike now now it is to do more with the self discipline you know it is basically to look at is what is that you want in life when you have when you have a clarity on what is that you want then rest of the thing and your self discipline actually falls in place yeah so physical uh, self care here we talk about exercise you don't have to do hours together you don't have to go to gym you don't have to go to pilates classes you don't have to go to zumba classes just at home jo hamara bangla ka songs hai usko lagao aur nacho you don't know to dance ma'am i don't know to dance you don't have to know to dance just lift your hand up and down shake your hip this side that side and your leg left right and side that's it movement some exercise some movement some momentum to your body yeah and that releases stress any exertion in your physical self that releases stress and emotions which is freezed in your body okay so you don't have to do it for hours together just 15 minutes a day you start with 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and we are there organize you would ask me why are you putting this in the self care you know it is it is very relevant in uh, putting the organizing Uh, your uh, house your wardrobes why i put self care because there's lot of activity there's a movement going on there see like and like maria kondo says how many of us have seen maria kondo we don't know in the uh, facebook that she says like, when we declutter that is we always keep wanting we keep buying new things new things new 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 and we do not discard we do not dispose we do not give it away to others so how do you choose she very beautifully says you hold the cloth whatever you want to give it away or you you've used for a longer time and see what sparks you right so if it sparks you you keep it if you don't feel that you don't have that feeling then discard it when you actually organize things then you have organized in your mind as well so eat mindfully and sleep well you should have a particular sleep routine otherwise it's very difficult now psychological self care in psychological self care the main thing even what we use in our therapies what we tell our clients is to journal every day you don't have to write today i got up i brushed my teeth i fossilled then i went here i went there you just write whatever comes to your mind now, another tip is whenever you're stressed you're angry you want to shout if there is a challenge of authority or your husband or your children or your in-laws Just sit quietly in one corner, light a lamp if you can, or a candle. Take down a paper and just write down whatever thoughts comes in your mind. It don't don't mind your language, don't mind your grammar, nothing. Just write it down. As you keep writing it down, and once your thought stops, you don't have to continue. You just stop there. You don't have to think and write. The flow has to be when you write it down, when you journal it. Right. Once you've done it, you don't have to revisit them. You just tear it and throw it. automatically even without your knowledge the stress or emotion that you that you went through just a few minutes ago automatically gets released from your body and mind this is a very effective way of releasing your stress within 5 minutes without anybody's help now you can try this all teachers can try when whenever you are having a break from one class to another class you want to you could go ahead with this then engage yourself in meaningful services each one of us is so unique and talented and we have bundle of talents within ourselves and we know that we do have so use that skills use that expertise to help somebody generally when you according to research also what they say is when you help someone when you are trying to uplift someone yeah automatically your mind is calmer your stress is gone and you feel good the feel good factor is more which always creates a very happy chemical happy hormones within your body emotional self care having compassion to myself every day of my life you know we always speak about romancing others you know romancing your partner you need to learn to romance yourself love yourself treat yourself so well just buy flowers for yourself you don't have to wait your husband your children your colleagues your friends to come and gift you something whatever makes you feel good just go ahead and do 
एक कप की चाय इज इनफ टू रियल योर रोमांस विद योर सेल्फ जस्ट सिट आउट एक कप की चाय और बारिश और बोडा बज्जी वॉट एवर यू लाइक टू हैव यूर डन यू सॉटेड जस्ट दट फाइव मिनट्स gives that kind of an energy with the new where you will be sorted where you feel nice about yourself right making time for my me time out of 24 hours if anybody would say that i don't have time for me myself just 5 to 10 minutes a day then you really need to think the priorities that you have in your life and the perspective of what your life has to be you know each one of us can spare that 5 to 10 minutes every day spiritual self care connecting to the source of my faith and hope being part of the faith community depending on your religion there are a lot of groups that you have you connect unlike before we just, we just do not follow what they say we want the logic we want the reason why we are doing this why we have to i don't want to there a lot of reasoning that's going on get connected uh, get more uh, you know wider perspective of what you have already read and known so that gives you an a sense of belonging being in a particular community who thinks the same who walks the same and who reads the same it is so important to know with whom you're connected spending time with nature you know it's a beautiful beautiful place that you all are living in kolkata i've i i've i've uh, i lived there or i wouldn't say i lived there i came there for two months and uh, i was there in kolkata for two months it's a beautiful place to be there right so be with nature be with yourself that is how you would connect spiritually with god now professional self care the main thing pursue work that is energizing for me right so now you all are teachers i am sure most of you would have taken this profession because you love to share what you know and what you have learnt and few of them could have come for various reasons but now you could make it a choice even though if this was not your choice of profession if you are not able to make it a choice then choose something that you love which gives you that kick which gives you that zeal which gives you that anticipation to go forward to go every day to school you know to love yourself more to explore more to do new things more especially during the pandemic and after pandemic the entire system is changed from being person centered you know being there the personal touch to the virtual who would have thought that we could run a school we could run the entire organizations in this entire world and universe that we could just sit at home and get things done and it works perfectly fine as it used to work when we are person to person and there are a lot of challenges quite a few of us who are not gadget savvy right we don't know computer well you know, we don't know to use and all your reports and all your all your working is now in computer and the kind of stress that you could have taken i understand my sister is not too big a gadget savvy and she's also a teacher back in bangalore and she says what you could finish in 5 minutes because you know excel she would take at least 30 minutes to 1 hour and that would give her tremendous stress in the initial days and i could see she says sister i just can't do it yeah the school people are giving so much of work it wasn't the school it is just that you needed to know how to get work done with the gadgets see the lot of pressures that you had and now they're sitting at home you have your children they are in the online classes and of course your spouse is also at home who used to go do at least a 9 to 5 job outside you had that breathing space that not too much of conflicts between each other but now all three of you sitting together a lot of lot of tension and stress isn't it yeah so now in professional work what happens you know how you can really take care of your professional uh, time associating with people who support my positivity and mental health like mentors senior teachers and peers so it it is so important to whom you listen what you're listening and what you're watching you know what what the information that gets into your mind is what actually comes out in your action it is so very important and generally what happens is whenever there is a seniority or whenever there is a you have lot of groupism in any professional work that we go even in corporate we have and we have even in schools so this the new teachers who are coming in you know uh, they they are new to the school or new to the people around if it is not made inclusive it creates tremendous stress on those souls 
where they're not able to first belong to you all because the information is not given correctly to each one of them. You don't share and the hierarchy comes and we put on the air saying that, oh, I know it all. You just, you're just new to it. There's a lot of things. Instead of that, why don't we practice a power to accommodate, power to cooperate? How do you show your seniority? How do you show, how do you become a mentor? by sharing and caring and giving motivation for them to be in it and to do, right? So let us be more accommodating and more uh, uh, cooperating with each other than trying to draw boundaries within yourselves and saying, that's it. Uh, yeah, pay attention to what you're putting in your mind. As I always said, what you listen to on the way to your work matters. What you watch when you get home from work also matters. So basically what it is, a simple rule that I have, mantra that I have, where your attention goes, your energy flows and that grows. So pay attention to where your attention is going. I found this in uh, Facebook a few months ago. It was, it was uh, I, I, I really loved it. And it was, it, and it is so true. You know, it said, where did you find that? I have been searching for it everywhere. And the other uh, picture says, I created it myself. Isn't it true? Yeah. We always look for happiness. We always say, oh, I'm so stressed. What is that you want in life? All the money, status, all of those things. We are done with it now at the, uh, in, in the point that we are in. The more is I want peace, I want happiness, I want to be stress-free, I want to be lovable. That is what it is. And we always want it from others. We always expect others to give. It's like, if my husband does this and gives me and okay, I'm happy. If my daughter respects me and listens to me, I will be happy. It's always related to if they, if they. But actually the fact is if I, it has nothing to do with they, it is I, right? So how can I create my happiness? So there are a few happiness chemicals. So whatever we have spoken now, or whatever we have seen now, it is, it is basically a kind of nutshell. Uh, there are main four chemicals in our body. Of course, I will not go, you all are teachers. <laughs> I will not go into details. When it comes to the chemical of dopamine, it is called as the reward chemical. You know, by eating food, achieving a goal, completing a task, self-care activities that we do, dopamine chemical will be generated and that will keep you stable, happy within yourself. Then toxitocin is a love hormone. So it's socializing. We are, we are basically a social being, right? So we socialize physical touch, petting animals, helping others. This comes under our professional self-care, what we had put. More than all, love hormone, you don't have to expect an other person to love you. First thing you should understand is you should love yourself. There's so many people that we talk about self-love, self-love, love yourself. You don't have to accept, uh, expect from others. All is true. We love others. Love is wonderful. It's a bonus. But much before that, start to love yourself. Start to appreciate yourself. Start to give that worth for yourself. It is more to do with self. Now there is a chemical called endorphin, which is a painkiller, like when we have fever and you know, when you're physically not well, how we take the painkillers to really stabilize and get back on our toes. These are something that we need to do is when you exercise, there is an endorphin chemical that is generated in your body. Then listening to music, beautiful music, then watching a movie, laughter. Every time you don't have to really laugh with silly, you just can laugh with no reason. You don't have to have a reason to laugh at. Laugh at yourself. It is fine. You know, just create that laughter in you. And then it's serotonin. Serotonin is a mood stabilizer, right? Sun exposure, go for a walk or a sun bath, or you just sit outside in your balcony, do a, uh, do a sun gazing if you can do, like how we did the moon gazing just a few days ago. Then mindfulness, whether you're eating, whether you're listening to your music, whether you're walking, just be aware of what you're doing. That is all it is asking for. Be with nature and meditation. Meditation is nothing but just connecting with yourself or with the divine or with the nature or with your mind. Meditation is nothing but connecting from one thing to another thing, right? It's so simple, isn't it? 
So we just thought that self care is so difficult. We don't know how, why, what. So we have uh, addressed at least few of it in today's session. So these were just few of the things for the topic that I had on self care. You cannot pour when your cup is empty. It is so true. Yeah. Take care of yourself first. It isn't selfish. Make time for what makes you happy. The best thing is start to love yourself. How you treat yourself is more important than how others treat you. We always say, oh, she didn't say good morning. He didn't wish me that. He didn't do me this. Leave them. Let them have their life. You have your life. Just love yourself. Right? Great love to you all. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you, Sanusia. Now, uh, now over to you, teachers. <clears throat> if you have, uh, you have some time. Uh, she has stopped early, so please uh, feel free to ask questions or clarifications, etc. So now, uh, over to you, teachers. Brother, for once I finished five minutes early, brother. <laughs> yeah. Yes, teachers. Now it's either everything bounced back and you felt like it was nonsense or it was all so in that you all were into it. Ma'am, it was amazing, ma'am. It was amazing. I really, I can still sit here and smile. I really liked it. As for Thank me, you. and I'm sure all my friends loved it. It is really good. Yes, any other responses or questions, please, please feel free. Huh? I brought in a woman for your sake. Otherwise, I could have lectured and therefore because you are of the same wavelength. So please feel free. I know you can make me a host. Huh? I... You are. Yes, any other questions? How do you do that, brother? Uh, keep on my photo, right hand top corner, click. Okay. You will see make host. And on my photo. Yeah, on your photo. Right hand top Allow corner. Allow to multi it says. It does not say make host. My There's photo. Not, yeah. Okay. On your photo only. Any other questions, please? Okay. Okay, Father, I want to say one thing. Yeah, yeah please go ahead. She is there. You can please ask directly. Uh, Ma'am, what, whatever she has spoken was really worthful. And I liked all the points what she has touched. There is no question as such, but I really agree with whatever she said. This a point of self-love and uh, self-loving is not uh, this uh, selfish. All these are very relevant nowadays. So these things I liked very much and really it is appreciable and we have understood to value ourselves. That is the best thing at exercising and all, and sun viewing, all these things are very, really, very helpful. And it will really improvise our day-to-day -day life. So thank you, ma'am, for your valuable information. Thank you, Mita. Just thing is the application of it. We all of us know whatever is being told today is just as how much we apply and take it forward. Yes. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Mita. Yes, any other observations or supplements? The men might be thinking, Mr. Sherlock Fernandez and all that must be thinking. Most of these are for women, not for us. Huh? Men, do you have some questions, please? 
don't feel isolated alone i am there with you yes <laughs> this was a common topic self care self love is for both yes okay i think uh, um we do not have any more questions brother uh, i think everything is clear for them yeah your teachers have become uh, really extraordinary in this lockdown they have become wiser no father no brother actually the pandemic has taught us to be extraordinary i think everybody <laughs> has learned the importance of life yes i think we have learned to prioritize more right. i mean this is what we have learned through the experiences that we have had during these two years right yeah i, I think mean, uh, what uh, she says is uh, this during the lockdown we have become uh, wiser quieter of course yeah calmer. Right. it's true we have become wiser it's yes. it's time. very true it's very yes. true yes and we have uh, started valuing life more than anything else very good that's right uh and What? also excuse me brother yes yes i'm go ahead. i'm i'm joy dev yes the teachers yes. are self care much it is proving from the covid infection yeah if you mm -hmm. go through the teachers you know the teachers yeah. are uh, very less infected the covid ah, 19 okay. it okay. is telling that they are very much self care ah okay very good yes madam anushya can you respond he says uh, the teachers were uh, not much affected because they were ah, the percentage uh, telling if you go through the news you can see there the teachers <laughs> are not affected by the covid 19 much percentage is uh, very less okay. and that from there you can say the teachers are very self care ah uh, okay as the probably the teachers uh, they shut themselves in their houses they didn't go out much and uh, because the family was there and they were careful i think what mr joy dev says i think may be true the teachers were more cautious and careful because in educated group they know how to protect actually, themselves actually cautious means brother actually cautious means we are not to go because of uh, online classes we ah, have to yes. do our uh, all things in the home only huh? Correct. from the yes. home we have done our job and that's right. why you are not going out and so ah. is uh, um, hopefully uh, showing yeah. that we are self care yeah that's why people like joy dev dhananjay and sharlok fernando they must have become expert cooks now during this lockdown <laughs> we hope they have given a break for their yes, wives yes brother yes. sometimes <laughs> really <laughs> yeah. i i cooked one time jalebi ah very good yes <laughs> yes i think what uh, mrs anusia is telling is she is talking about not simply uh, just a physical uh, care but it's a whole question of the self care from mental perspective from emotional perspective there are a lot of people have gone through frustration depression loneliness during this lockdown period i think what anusia was talking about is from that angle as teachers sometimes we forget as parents as husbands or wives we are busy taking care of others in the family we neglect our self care yes So I think that is what she was. Uh, yes, uh, Anusia, you like to say any more? Some concluding words? Uh, it's basically yes. A pandemic has taught us lot of things uh, to be more patient, to be more accommodating, and to learn. Uh, whoever has ever been complaining that I don't have time to do anything, you have had all the time to do whatever you wanted in these two years. In spite of it, if you haven't done it, it is time for you to really check. why is that you're not able to do it you definitely need help right so look within more than anything else just love yourself five five minutes it, it does not have to be a lot of things or it does not have to be diamonds and a lot of other things just small gestures of love coffee chai that's it life is all about that be happy excuse me, love yourself joy dev excuse me ma'am yes yeah. joy dev uh, please uh, tell your all the students today means we are teacher no we are listening you uh, very nicely uh, so you can say them uh, do some yoga now only right minimum one one yoga uh, uh, they can do in front of uh, screen 
I mean, in front of their uh, camera that you can watch. Joydeep, these this generation uh, students or kids are more tech savvy and more aware, and they 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 know what they want in life. At least most of them. So we as mentors and teachers can only educate them and give them the information. We cannot take stress for they doing or not doing. We need to know where to draw the boundaries. I'm sure once you teach them, they will be able to take it forward. That is true. I was watching the news yesterday, ma'am. Uh, they are going to school uh, first two, three days in the government, actually, the schools are. The students are already uh, getting traced from that their teachers. They are asking some work they have to do uh, in Bengali medium school. In my surroundings, uh, some uh, students are came and said, "Oh, how do I go to the school?" They are asking this and this, but it is not available in the market and and all 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 like. Got it, ma'am? Sure, Jay. So students are, right. actually students are getting the stress from teachers. They are actually coming after a long day and getting them, and the students are actually um, telling, "So it is not with me. So how could I give you?" And like, so it is happening there only. Yes. Yeah, the teachers will take care of the students and not give stress to students. Yes, yes, that I I I feel. You are a very good teacher then. So let's live by example and not giving stress to your students. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, can I request that Priyanka Das, please switch off your microphone. Uh, Priyanka Das, please switch off your microphone. Uh, you are, uh, I think she doesn't hear. So can somebody say a few words of uh, thanks to uh, Mrs. Anusia Sundar before she leaves us? Uh, anybody? Please, uh, me, brother. Yes, please go. Since on. you are talking about the male teachers present here, with due respect, to Ma'am Anushua and to all of us. Uh, the topic she has presented us is very relevant for the male teachers also, not only for the male teachers, for no. the general in Bengal. So for my experience, as though she has given an example of being mothers taking care of others. But here from my personal experience, I'd like to express that here in Bengal, including uh, me, myself, and I have seen my friends also, they mostly neglect their own personal life and they think for their family, uh, wife, children, parents, aged children, uh, physically, mentally, even due to lockdown, uh, men here in my neighborhood stop sharing their worries with even wife, better have. So thank you, Ma'am Anusha, for presenting such very important topic, especially now during the pandemic and post-pandemic situations, where even we mill, whether it is teachers or in any profession, to take care of ourselves. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you, Rupchand. Absolutely. It is not directed only to one gender. It is each one of us where we need to take care of ourselves. Thank you.